Hi guys, it's Miriam, the frugal chef. I hope you're well. We're gonna make this crisp, delicious, fantastic uh, fried shrimp in the air fryer today. Oh my gosh, this is easy and super quick. I know you're gonna love this recipe. If you don't have an air fryer, you can cook these in regular oil, you know. So don't worry if you don't have one, just fry it in really hot oil and, and there you go. Before we do anything, if you would sub, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you turn on that notification button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's do this. First thing we're gonna do is preheat our air fryer. It automatically does 405 minutes. That's what I want. So I have two eggs in here. I'm gonna beat them. I have some flour in here. I'm gonna season it with salt, pepper, some garlic powder, let's say a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of paprika. And I'm gonna add a little bit of hot pepper in here. You don't have to, but I will. Maybe half a teaspoon. I'm gonna mix that well. In here, I have uh, breadcrumbs, they're panko. I am gonna season them a little bit with salt and pepper. We're going to put our shrimp into the flour, shake off the excess to the egg, and then to the panko. And then I'm gonna set it aside. By the way, I am using a pound of devein and peeled shrimp. We are going to now put our shrimp inside the basket. I'll be trying not to burn myself here. These are big pieces of shrimp, guys. So I think I'm gonna have to work in batches. So I don't wanna overcrowd it, I want them to be nice and crisp. I'm gonna lower the temperature to 370 and we're going to cook this for eight to 10 minutes, we'll see. At the four minute mark, we will flip them, guys. All right, four minutes have gone by, I'm gonna flip these. Wow, they're beautiful. All right, we'll finish cooking then. I'm gonna do the same with the leftover shrimp, guys, and I'll see you when everything is done, okay? Just look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my gosh, the crust is super crisp. Ah, it smells awesome, guys. I will serve it with the bang bang and also with the tartar sauce. But yeah, let's, let's give this a try. Delicious. I'll put the links to these sauces right up here so you can see how they're made, okay? All right, let's taste this. Mmm. Wow, that shrimp is so juicy. And of course, the, the breading on the outside is super crisp. This is excellent. Honestly, it doesn't need any sauce. It's very good. <laughs> I hope you guys give this a try. I think you're gonna love it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you could like and comment, that'd be awesome. If you could share this with your family and friends, oh my God, thank you. I will see you soon.